Hello friends, uh, this is my new initiative where we will be learning about creating web applications using Visual Studio 2019. Uh, I have already installed a community version of it. This is freely available in the official website itself. You can go check out over there. So we'll be just starting off. So uh, we'll, uh, this is just a short video to show you how to create a new project. So I click on create new project. Over here, I get uh, many applications that I can develop. See over here, web is selected. If I say all project types, then I can create all the different types of project that is console application, desktop, mobile, cloud applications. We are concerned only with web right now. So I'll be choosing web. Even in web, we got different options like .NET Core, web application, .NET Framework. So right now we'll be dealing with some basic stuffs. So we'll go with .NET Framework and say next. It is always a good habit to give proper naming conventions. So I say demo project location. If you want, you can keep it as it is. If you want to change, you can do that too. Uh, place solution and project in the same directory just check this box and say create okay so you get another option now over here you want empty project template or you got web forms so say i want web forms right now i'll tell you the difference in the coming videos of what is empty and what is web forms you also have something called as MVC that is model view controller. So right now I go with the basic that is web forms and I say create. So the project is being created. It takes a bit of a while to for Visual Studio to do the complete setup of creating a web application. Your web application has got a lot of things uh, associated with it. Uh, in case you are using a version 2017 or maybe 2012 2013 and all in that in those cases the gui part will be looking something different the creating of your new project is also a bit different as compared to what we were doing with your visual studio 2019 so please take a note of that so when you're working with visual studio you need a lot of patience So there you go, <clears throat> your web application is over here. Uh, let me tell you about the different windows that we have over here. The solution explorer, this is the place where you will be going to find all your files. There are different files over here, web.config, one of the most important files that needs to be there. I'll tell you why in the later videos, global.asx and there's something called a site master. Uh, we'll go in detail about all these files and folders in the upcoming videos. I'll just tell you how to go about creating a single page. So this is my main web application. I'll just right click on it and go to add. And select new items. Now I want a normal web page. Now I have different options over here. I can create a normal HTML page that is with an HTML ex extension that you can see over here or I can create a web form. Now what is the difference between an HTML page and a web form? We'll just see. So a web form comes with an ASPX extension. I will just name it as my first program and say add. Okay, now when I add my first program over here, see, uh, till now, whenever you have done your HTML part, it doesn't always that you have to do the complete coding right from HTML body and everything. So here you get a lot of things and made like uh, pre-made. <clears throat> so I'll do the first uh, program that uh, you do in every language. Okay, 
so I have simply added one page I have done some changes it's just hello world I save this particular thing to run this file over here you can see there is a play symbol so this is to run it will take a bit of time to run because there are a lot of things that are going on at the back end part over here you can see that the build has been started here you can see clearly on the screen it says the build started so it will take a bit of time because there are a lot of things over here that you can go around so build is succe succeeded and there you go so hello world close this particular file come over here so the debugging thing was going on now it will be out of debugging okay so we'll be learning many more things guys this is just the beginning please like follow subscribe and uh, this is just the start we'll go way ahead thank you